What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Crystoria video. So this is just going to be a quick one, but uh, we did get some news last night about some stuff coming to the game that I wanted to go over. Plus, there was a bug I ran into that I just wanted to address, uh, because it doesn't look like the, te the Crystoria team has caught on to it yet, probably because it's such a small thing. Um, I'm not going to showcase it because I don't want the bug to happen again right now, but... Right now, if you use Dark Miklio, now this is unrelated to the new stuff, obviously. Um, Dark Miklio, his, uh, which one is it? I think it's Ice Reaver. Um, whenever I use it, I don't know, it actually might be Spiral Strike. I don't remember which one it was, but one of these arts, if I use them, it immediately crashes my game. So for whatever reason, right now... <laughs> It was the same issue I had with uh, I had a while ago with uh, Halloween Zelos, where his Mystic Art would crash my game. I think it was during a, a story live stream where I had to turn off animations just to make sure I could uh, keep using him and you know have it work. So uh, I don't know if this is uh, just a me issue, but um, I guess let me know if you guys have this issue if you have Dark Mikleo. But uh, enough about that. Now we are going to talk, there was an emergency maintenance because there were some issues they had to uh, go over. But first, let's go over a few things. Um, by the way, apparently this EX Summon Pack got canceled. Um, we have decided not to release the Falling Procs due to technical reasons. Uh, EX Summon Pack. So for whatever reason, uh, they are not going to go ahead and release this. I'm not actually sure why, but uh, uh, there is that. Um, let's talk about the 1.1.2 uh, update notice. So, release day is Thursday, February 18th, which is tonight. So, you know, when reset happens, uh, there will be a new version of the game to download. Um, and this will implement the Transcend boards, uh, which I don't know if we'll even be able to... Because the quests don't start... Yeah, Transcend board is added on the 18th. But I don't think the Chalice Quests... The Chalice Quests start on the 19th, so... I guess we'll be able to look at the boards to see what we're going to need to farm, but we're not actually going to be able to farm these things until the following day, which will basically be Friday morning. Um, so there's that. Uh, Lindworm Pyro, we are getting this uh, to make a return, which I urge anyone who plans to do this transcendent stuff to farm like crazy when Pyro comes back because that's how you're going to get your characters to 120 uh, and get them stronger, which is going to be very important for those of you who play in the arena because you're probably going to see in the first week or two uh, people starting to get units to level 120. I don't know how many materials it's going to cost for this transcend board, how many chalices you're going to need to get or how many other materials you're going to need to get. But um, I would expect the uh, uh, difficulty curve in the arena to definitely change. It's going to be like trying to play Crestoria on day one, where you had most people, you know, only having level 10 to 20 characters, but then you had the real tryhards by the following day having, like, you know, level 60, level 70 characters. So uh, there is going to be a rush uh, for people to get their units to 120. But we'll have to see how grindy it is. We know we can only do the Chalice Quests a limited number of times per day. So it's not like people are just going to be able to completely go crazy and get their entire box to 120 uh, immediately. Um, so maintenance. Uh, the maintenance for tonight. Um, oh wait, actually... This was the maintenance that just happened. Uh, there was a shop item. This was the emergency maintenance they had for tonight. Um, and I think this is the other one. Yeah, okay. So, this is the one that's starting tonight The for update 1.1.2. So, this is going to start 22 uh, EST, so that's 10 o'clock at night uh, Eastern Time. And it's going to go until the usual uh, reset, which is 2 a.m. Uh, so, that makes sense. Uh, and that's going to implement the Transcended board, as well as something else uh, I want to talk about in here. It should be in Message to the Team, I believe. Okay, 
New features for 1.1.2, triple boost in raids. I'm very excited about this. Um, triple boost allows you to use three times the regular AP, BP, or items required for a raid to earn three battles worth of rewards. Now, this could be good and bad. Um, I don't know if it's specifically just going to take what you would normally get and then just multiply it by three. So, like, let's say, let's say you were farming the very hard for the light raid. And let's say you got Alicia to drop. Would you get three Alicias if you use three times the AP for that one? Or would you just get one because it doesn't, you know, count every single one? Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that's actually going to work. Uh, feedback from Nora players indicated that raids took longer than expected to clear and were sometimes difficult to navigate. Our operations teams took this feedback on board and began to consider how it could be addressed. While only a small change, we hope that this update provides a smoother experience when collecting crystals and materials for the Ascension board. We are currently we are currently preparing more updates and features to complement raids, so please consider this a small update in the first step of improvements. And they made a post on Twitter as well, basically saying that they apologize if this seems like just a small update, but this is this is a step in the right direction because you know, I can't tell you how many times I'm just like sitting there wanting to farm, you know, those raids to work on my uh, boards and everything. And I'm just like, I don't want to do the normal stage 50 times to get a bunch of uh, hard orbs and then do the hard orbs, you know, 50 times to get the very hard orbs. So being able to use at least triple uh, is definitely a big plus in my book. Uh, so obviously, you know, they, they could make it to where you just use all your stamina. But I think this is fine. This this is good. Uh, obviously, the Transcend Board, which if you don't know, the Transcend Board is once you have the Ascension Board complete, you will be able to do the Transcend Board, which will have stuff like raising the, the level of arts, and then, of course, raising the level cap of your character, and probably some other uh, nice buffs there, which will be interesting to see how strong characters are going to get moving forward, because what if they go beyond this Transcend Board even higher? I don't think they will. I think 120 is probably the limit they're going to... Uh, the only other thing I could think maybe is maybe do like a rarity increase and then raise a character's level to 150. But um, I don't know. 120 still feels pretty high. Uh, there are some people who are still struggling to get, you know, full teams to uh, level 100, which I actually just got my final SSR to uh, level 100 today. The only one left was the Wind Kohaku. So I have all level 100s. Uh, for my SSR, so now I'll just be sitting on Princessias until I pull somebody new. Um, a short six months after release, players are beginning to feel that their characters have reached their full potential and are now without a goal or challenge. For some, this is resulting in a less challenging experience in which the fun of powering up their favorite characters is lessened. Um, I still feel like the content's uh, definitely still at, uh, pretty difficult, you know, especially with stuff like the tower... Uh, and stuff like that, or like the, uh, the very hard, you know, difficulty events, you know, like the Barbados and Douse events that we've gotten. But, uh, I will definitely take some, uh, level cap increases, for sure. I mean, the, the, the whole fun part of an RPG, you know, gotcha or not, is seeing the stats of your characters go up. So, uh, it'll definitely be nice to see how much of a boost we actually get. Uh, as new characters added to the game every month, we have also received feedback from players who want uh, new means to power up these new characters. Okay, so Transcend Board. Uh, all new abilities for their characters and present new strategies for tougher battles within the game. Okay, well, you can tell that this was a plan for a long time because we still have those higher difficulty raids that we don't have difficulties for yet. So I think we'll definitely see, actually now I'm thinking about it, we'll definitely see past 120 at some point. Um, we intend to release Transcended... Oh, okay, so the board is being released in stages. Okay, so the first stage... Okay, so the, the first stage is going to add panels to raise a character's maximum level as well as the level of their art. So only the first stage of the Transcend board gets you to 120. That's very interesting. So yeah, what is going to be the max level after all? Stage 2 will introduce panels that will allow your characters to deal more damage against specific types and grant stat bonuses while their hp is at a specific level okay so this is they're, they're putting a lot of thought into this 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 makes me very happy um they're still working on you know uh 
fixes for issues, but they also want to be able to give us content. So uh, very happy about that. I guess the last thing I just want to mention real quick. Um, I now have a second. When I made my last video, I only had one character with a max ascension board. I now have a second character, which is this Milla. Since we we're farming the light event, and I didn't have a light SSR to awaken. I went ahead and uh, I filled out her board so I can work on her as well uh, when this stuff drops. And then I'm also working on Estelle uh, just because I use Estelle on a lot of teams. Um, so I'd be very curious to see what her transcend board looks like, but um, I am lacking mostly. Uh, so I'm lacking Dragon Vein Crystals now and I've already used all the currency I had saved up before and these Hair of the Sacred Beasts. Uh, is also what I'm lacking. So there'll be quite a bit of farming before that. But I think having two characters, you know, uh, Milla and Lloyd, is uh, definitely a good start. I think I'm going to work on Lloyd first because Lloyd actually has max dupes. And, of course, Lloyd Irving is my favorite character. So uh, I think I will work on his Transcend board first because uh, I do st I use him in the arena as well. He's a good defensive unit. Um, so I'll be interested to see defensively uh, how high he can get, and honestly, you know, depending on how good these boards are, he might pass some of my actual attacking units in power. Obviously, he only has 2100 uh, power normally, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what this Transcend board can uh, do for him, and then uh, whatever the next event will be, you know, I can start working on some other characters too, like for Fire, uh, definitely going to be working on uh, EX Leon first, uh, but of course... Once again, need uh, more of these crystals. And then Fire Spirit's Rage is what I'm lacking on fire. So hopefully with this three times farming raid stuff, uh, I can actually get a lot more of this done. I guess for Dark, I could work on... Uh, I think this. I think Yuri is my only uh, character here. So I could work on Summer Yuri as well. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. So some very exciting stuff coming to the game. So let me know what you guys think about the triple... Uh, stamina being able to do raids with so I guess yeah so hmm because it says you can use three times BP but BP is only used when you join someone else's raid so I guess you can join someone else's raid and or maybe it'll say beforehand so like when you go to raids so if we go over uh, here let's see if there's any live as you can see it just shows you know BP two for each one of these so I get if the person who started the raid, I guess if they chose three times the amount of stamina, maybe you can join a raid. So like for mania, uh, if someone decided to use all, because you only get three mania attempts uh, per day, as you can see here, uh, it says three left. So I guess if someone did that, you could just spend, you know, the six uh, BP to join and just get three times the rewards when it's completed. So that'd be very interesting to see how that kind of works out. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.